In this video, we'll be multiplying three digit numbers by one digit numbers. I'm going to work through six different examples. If you'd like to have a go at these examples yourself before we go through them, pause the video and press play when you're ready. Here's the first calculation. 437 times 3. It's crucial to align the numbers accurately when using written methods for the four operations. So we have the ones in the ones column, the tens in the tens column, the hundreds in the hundreds column, and the thousands in the thousands column. The number 437 has seven ones. It has three tens, and it has four hundreds. The number three has three ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. First, we're going to multiply three by seven. Three times seven is 21. We carry the two below in the tens column, as it represents two tens. Now we can multiply three by three tens. Three times three is nine. We need to add the two tens below, so nine add two is 11. We carry the one below in the hundreds column, as it represents 100. Now we can multiply three by four hundreds. Three times four is 12. We need to add the 100 below, so 12 add one is 13. So the answer is 1,311. Here's the next calculation. 825 times four. First, we make sure the numbers are lined up accurately. The number 825 has five ones. It has two tens, and it has eight hundreds. The number four has four ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. First, we're going to multiply four by five. Four times five is 20. We carry the two below in the tens column, as it represents two tens. Now we can multiply four by two tens. Four times two is eight. We need to add the two tens below. So eight add two is 10. We carry the one below in the hundreds column as it represents 100. Now we can multiply four by eight hundreds. Four times eight is 32. We need to add the 100 below. So 32 add one is 33. So the answer is 3,300. Here's the next calculation. 273 times five. First, we make sure the numbers are lined up accurately. The number 273 has three ones. It has seven tens, and it has two hundreds. The number five has five ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. First, we're going to multiply five by three. Five times three is 15. We carry the one below in the tens column as it represents one ten. Now we can multiply five by seven tens. Five times seven is 35. We need to add the one ten below. So 35 add one is 36. We carry the three below in the hundreds column as it represents three hundreds. Now we can multiply five by two hundreds. 
5 times 2 is 10. We need to add the 3 hundreds below, so 10 add 3 is 13. So the answer is 1,365. Here's the next calculation. 937 times 2. First, we make sure the numbers are lined up accurately. The number 937 has 7 ones. It has 3 tens and it has 9 hundreds. The number 2 has 2 ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. First, we're going to multiply 2 by 7. 2 times 7 is 14. We carry the 1 below in the tens column, as it represents 1 ten. Now we can multiply 2 by 3. 2 times 3 is 6. We need to add the 1 ten below, so 6 add 1 is 7. Now we can multiply 2 by 9 hundreds. 2 times 9 is 18. So the answer is 1,874. The next calculation is 781 multiplied by 6. First, we make sure the numbers are lined up accurately. The number 781 has 1 1. It has 8 tens and it has 7 hundreds. The number 6 has 6 ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. First, we're going to multiply 6 by 1. 6 times 1 is 6. Now we can multiply 6 by 8 tens. 6 times 8 is 48. We carry the 4 below in the hundreds column, as it represents 4 hundreds. Now we can multiply 6 by 7 hundreds. 6 times 7 is 42. We need to add the 4 hundreds below, so 42 add 4 is 46. So the answer is 4,686. Here's the last calculation. 629 times 5. First, we make sure the numbers are lined up accurately. The number 629 has 9 ones. It has 2 tens and it has six hundreds. The number five has five ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. First, we're going to multiply five by nine. Five times nine is 45. We carry the four below in the tens column, as it represents four tens. Now we can multiply 5 by 2 tens. 5 times 2 is 10. We need to add the 4 tens below, so 10 add 4 is 14. We carry the 1 below in the hundreds column, as it represents 100. Now we can multiply 5 by 6 hundreds. 5 times 6 is 30. We need to add the 1 ten below, so 30 add 1 is 31. So the answer is 3145.